Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the Stuff Plus plugin. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the Spigot tab, and type in Staff Plus. Make sure to install the correct version. I'm running 1.13 version of Minecraft, so this one right here is the right one for me. Then just restart your server, and you're all done. What this plugin allows you to do is give permission to certain players or groups of players so that they can be staff on the server, like admins and moderators. It has a lot of features and the full list of features can be found on this bigger page, which I'll link in the description. The config file is quite simple and I'll only briefly go over it. In the config, everything is set up in modules and you can enable and disable each one as you wish just by tapping true or false next to the enabled section of each module. The two options here allow you to block commands. The blocked mode commands are commands which are not allowed to be used when the staff mode is active. There's a report module and a warning module. You can also set it so that after a certain amount of warnings, a player can get banned. There's also a staff chat feature and you can change the little prefix handle here. This means you'll have to use the at sign to talk in the staff chat. Under this section, you can change the parameters of the player who have staff mode active. For example, you can disable damage and hunger loss or enable flying. You can disable all of these modules too. These are basically the interactable items in your hotbar when your staff mode is enabled. And of course, you can create your custom modules too. If you don't understand some of the options in the config, there is one that is commented on GitHub and I'll link that in the description. So make sure to take a look at it if you're unsure about something. Permissions can be changed and customized here as well as the commands. And that's about it for the main bits, now let's get into game and I'll show you how this works. Of course, the main command is slash staff. This gives you a hotbar of tools that you can use. For example, this uh, launcher, which launches you in the direction you're looking at. Um, of course, when you toggle slash staff mode, um, you get a vanish, which is set in the config, and you also get a notification that you're in staff mode. Uh, the other commands are basically everything that's in the config. You can change all of these and you can also run commands in chat. For example, let's say we can toggle the vanish. We can type in slash vanish and then it will show us a menu on how to use the command correctly. So let's type in slash vanish total and our name. And then because we had vanish on, it will disable it for us. If we type the command again, it will enable it for us. Other commands are things like slash chat. And you can uh, either, let's say, chat clear, which clears the chat. And then you can also uh, toggle slow mode um, or turn it on and off. For example, if I do slash chat toggle, it will disable the whole chat. There are also alerts for this plugin. You can type in slash alerts to see the full menu. And as an example, I'll check out the mention alert. If I do slash alerts mention, then uh, my name and then enable, it will enable it so that every time someone types in my name in chat, it'll give, you, give me a little ping in chat and also give me a notification in chat as well. You can turn on alerts for name changes or XRA as well. There's also a report system. To report a play, all you have to do is type in slash report their name and what you're reporting for. For example, I'm gonna report myself for hacking. And of course, since I'm a staff, it's a bypass command. However, if you go and open your GUI hub and see unresolved reports, you'll see my name here. And the reason is hacking and Obviously the report is myself. You can also check the staff list with the staff list icon in your hotbar. As you can see, I'm the only staff available in the world. There are many other features in this plugin, which I can't really show you because I'm the only player on the server. However, if you still have any questions or still want to know what this plugin does and every single feature of it, make sure you visit the Spigot page or if you're struggling with something, contact our support team. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial helped, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.